And I invite first <clears throat> the president of the World Bank, Mr. David Malpass. And I think, I think we want you to speak from there. Thank you very much, Queen Maxima. It's such a pleasure to be here to celebrate the work that you've done, the progress that you've made, 10 years of, uh, of uh, endeavors that have really had a big impact on uh, people's lives. It's been an invaluable support uh, from a development standpoint uh, by focusing attention on financial inclusion. In Bangladesh, uh, for example, your work coupled with development partners increased access to mobile money from 3% of the population to 20%. And it also led to digitalization of wage payments uh, and other large volume systems, including for most, for, uh, including uh, for the mostly female population of the garment workers industry. I'm relatively new in my job, uh, but I've seen the effects of it uh, over and over again. Uh, I, w I uh, met uh, with the presidents both of, K of Kenya and of Ghana today, uh, and both were talking about the, I get today and yesterday, uh, and both were talking about the impact that uh, mobile banking has had on their people. Uh, there, there are spikes in the number of transactions early in the morning as workers, often women workers, are beginning to take money and buy goods and then sell them during the day, uh, and that's causing a measurable impact on their lives because they can, uh, they can begin to transact and have money of their own. Um, you, you've been an early supporter of, uh, of better data on financial inclusion, which is so important for making progress with programs because we can see how they, uh, how they work. You are a leading champion of the global fin, Findex de database, which enabled us to document advances in financial inclusion. And across Africa, we work together to help the authorities enact reforms that will open the way for greater competition. The World Bank has been, uh, uh, we have the Women, Business, and the Law Index, which has been so important in documenting, uh, in helping document the progress. My notes have many more achievements in, uh, in bilateral remittance corridors, which are so important for many of the, uh, of the world's poor. Uh, the, the systems have uh, enabled much greater volumes. Um, and you've been a, an enthusiastic advocate in the Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion for, of the G20, where you're an honorary patron. So we, the World Bank, look, uh, greatly look forward to continuing our strong partnership with the UNSGSA. Um, and uh, in particular, we can look forward to great work and improvements in financial literacy, especially for women, which is going to be so important in the next phase of reforms. And we think a lot of progress can be made on lowering transaction cost, which then brings into radar, into the, onto the radar screen, brings into range uh, many more activities uh, that, uh, uh, that women and men uh, can do in their countries uh, to, to improve their financial circumstances. So we need action on the ground. Uh, the World Bank is uh, uh, very much looking forward to working with Your Majesty and with all the other partners. And I thank you very much for your efforts in this regard. And we look forward to continued collaboration. Thank you. Thank you very much, David.